I grew up in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I had a sister and of course a mom and dad. My dad was a golf professional, my mom was a school teacher. I'm the youngest of five boys. Uh, grew up in Florida, in mostly blue collar. Really, if you'd ask me when I was younger what I wanted to be when I'd grow up, I'd tell you, Mom, that was definitely the most important thing to me in my life. Dad was an extremely hard worker, impressed upon us, a tremendous work ethic, uh, responsibility. Uh, so I took the natural course uh, through high school, work hard, college, uh, buckled down in grades, and really started to carve out a career. Fast forward a few years and I met the man of my dreams. I was uh, visiting Florida and uh, met him and never went back to Arizona. And um, of course, that's kind of where our story begins. Somebody gave me a, a, uh, an opportunity to, to move up a step or two in the corporate ladder. So I put my application in with the United States Secret Service. And I spent about six and a half years traveling all over this country and other countries. At the time, I had a three and a half year old and a, and a newborn little baby boy and there was a point and there's a day and a time that I remember very specifically and um, it was one evening when he was a newborn and we literally did not have money for baby food that night and we had run out and I remember having to wait till midnight for our credit card to lapse into the next month in order for us to be able to go and buy baby food for our children. So I remember that night just pouring my heart out and just kind of asking the Lord to, to show me um, an opportunity, show me a vision and, and something that, um, that he would have me do. And sure enough, by the next, you know, within the next week to two weeks, was introduced to this opportunity. And I, I really wasn't looking at it as a huge opportunity. I was just simply looking at it as just enough to get by and to help in paying the bills so that I could be home with uh, my, my precious children. And so that's really what I set out to accomplish. When we first started, we were, you know, really our goal was to set out to make a few hundred dollars extra a month. And um, how, as time progressed, as months went on, that quickly jumped and to a few thousand dollars extra a month. And the trips to the mailbox suddenly started becoming a lot more exciting and a lot more fun. I was still working at, uh, at government uh, in my office, stationed in Miami, Florida working an exorbitant amount of hours uh, for a rather good salary according to you know most American families today. One day I asked him what would it take for you to come home? What would it take for you to, how much would I need to make? And at that point in time we were already doing about half a million to three quarters of a million in, uh, in retail profit. So I threw out a number to her and I said okay when our monthly business income reaches this much, then, then I will. And, and I want to say that that first figure was like 50 grand a month. And so I said, all right, all right, we'll see. And so sure enough, it took me about three months to hit that. And at the time, I think we, we started it was about 20 grand a month. And so we jumped in about three to four months, we jumped up to that 50 grand a month. And of course, so I looked at him and said, all right, it's time. And he does what I think any, you know, red-blooded man will do, and that's it. <laughs> That's, uh, he says, oh no, no, honey, you know, he upped the goal. So I raised the value about 20%, and it was really futile because in another 60 days we hit that value. So I walked in, gave him my resignation, uh, gave my two weeks notice, and we were, had a plan and we were ready to go. For me, um, th this industry has really kind of broken that stereotype mold. It's allowed me to be successful, but also a very present and in-tune dad. Um, I mean, there's days that, you know, I'll finish a phone call and I'll walk 20 steps out my front yard and my 10-year-old boy will start running post patterns and we'll start, you know, chucking footballs at each other and, you know, uh, airsoft and paint guns. And so the day is not so linear. Um, success has a different view. Um, it's more, almost like a mosaic or a puzzle piece. The financial rewards, of course, have been amazing, but 
Um, I think the rewards, the gifts, and really what I look at this industry and what it's been able to do for my family is really priceless. You can't even put a price tag on it.